Hi, welcome to Playing Games. I'm Chris, and today we're going to open some playing cards. This video is a continuing look at the Italian regional card decks. Over the course of 16 short videos, I will be opening all of the Italian regional packs, and we'll go over what makes these unique masterpieces tick. Let's go! Today we're going to open the Romagnoli Italian card deck. Now this deck wasn't so hard to find. I have an older version right here. It's pretty beat up, I've had this for years. And this is the Del Negro brand, you can tell by the French suited shield here. For this, I decided to get a new one of the other brand. So here they are, here's the previous brand and the new Romagnoli plastic Modiano cards here. This is the Romagnoli deck. The location is the province Romagna. The deck size is 40 cards. The style is Spanish. The suits are coins, swords, cups, and clubs. The court cards are not mirrored. They're single-ended. The stamp tax would have been on the ace of coins, and the card size is approximately 51 by 94 millimeters. So it's a longer card, almost twice as long as it is wide. They're very tall cards because they're from the north. That's the north style to make the, the cards very tall. This brand is the Modiano brand. The Modiano has this nice logoing inside their box. So let's go through it. Here are the coins. The coins are very interesting. They have a sort of floral pattern inside. The ace of coins does not show a coin and has a blank spot where you would have put a stamp tax. You have your um, ace here, which is a naked cupid holding a very sharp object. The deck shares a lot of qualities with other decks. The ace of swords has the cupid playing too close to its sharp edges. Also a little confusing because now we have this ribbon with these gold coins at the end. It's not a two of coins, it's a ace of swords. We have this two here with this cool snake-like ribbon. Focus on the swords, that's a two. Five's very busy in the Spanish suits, just be aware of that. This looks like a uterus with ovaries, but it's not the swords. The swords are the swords. Five. And now we have, <laughs> yeah. In this deck, the bastone is very strange. It's blue with yellow branches and red uh, tree markings, I, I don't know. And same thing, wow, with this Technicolor 2 here, and finally our King of Clubs. And then here are the rules to uh, Briscola and Scopa. If you really wanna know the rules on how to play those games, you know, Right there, that's where you find the rules. Let's talk about the color scheme. They went for a heavy primary color, red, blue, and yellow theme. I find it a little unnatural and distracting. If that's something you love, you're gonna love this deck. I do like the face cards. I wouldn't say the artwork is the best or in any way realistic, but it harkens back to the early times in the history of, of playing cards. All the Fontes or Jacks seem to be women, a distinction that I think is made clear since the horsemen have mustaches and the kings have beards and the Fontes do not have either. So are there many differences between the two branded decks? Well, I can show you here. Yes, they are slightly different, but very much the same. You'll notice the colors are a little bit different. Core cards are very similar too. In general, the Del Negro seem to have a slightly more refined detail. You can see here, there's a yellow band on his hat, there's a little bit more coloring detail in here. The king is more refined too. There's a pattern in his coat edge here. In general, the cards art is big and clear, making it fairly easy to play with as long as you know what the Spanish suits are. Like most people who play Italian card games, I prefer using a Spanish suited deck like this. Though you use what you love, no judgments here. That said, the Romagnole is my least favorite of the Spanish suited cards. The aces and royals are a bit clunky and the color scheme seems a little bit off almost feels like an unnecessary regional deck because you have one of the best decks, the Piacentine deck, in that same very province of Emilio Romana. I bought this deck when I was just a kid, thinking that Romagnoli meant that these were from my grandfather's hometown, Rome. Oh, Rome, have you heard of it? It's a little Italian town that briefly had a bit of an empire. Alas, these are not from Rome, but from Romagna, a region a bit north of Rome. Emilia Romana is a region rich in food, wine, industry. It also holds the cities of Bologna, Piacenza, which have their own regional decks. Rome has their own, right? Surprisingly, no, Rome does not have their own regional deck. Well, sort of. Romans played with other regions decks until the early 1970s, so like hundreds of years. But in 1972, they made their own deck. It was not popular at all though, and soon it was discontinued. These days, most Romans use the Piacentine deck. However, just this past summer, I found these in a Roman bookshop. And I'll open this deck just for you in a future video. In summary, this is a totally fine deck to play with. I have this old deck that I've used for many years. It's well-worn, I love it. However, it is the quiet deck in a crowded field of very loud, 
awesome Spanish suited cards. Information is scarce when it comes to regional decks, so if you're from the Romagna region, or you know a lot about this deck, or what's going on with the Ace of Sticks, please share what you know in the comments, and I'll do my best to keep that knowledge alive. This is just one of Italy's many regional decks, and you can see all the others right here on Playing Games. Please comment, like, and subscribe to help this channel grow. Also help support the hard work that goes into these videos by donating to this channel. You are great. Thank you.